Hello everyone. Here we have the example for the topic differentiation. Find the value of k. If the slope, meaning that here we have dy dx of the curve x cubed plus kx squared multiplied with y minus 2y squared equals to 0 at the point. So where we have x equals to negative 1 and y equals to 1 is negative 3. So meaning that the dy dx is negative 3. So now first step is to differentiate the situation where we have x cubed plus kx squared multiplied with y minus 2y squared equals to 0. So now we are going to differentiate the situation with respect to x. So we will have 3x squared plus y bracket 2xk plus kx squared. Differentiate the y and we will obtain dy dx minus 4y dy dx equals to 0. Kindly substitute the value x equals to negative 1, y equals to 1, and the dy dx is equals to negative 3. So if we substitute and we will obtain 3 bracket multiply with 1 plus we have bracket 2 multiply with negative 1 multiply with k plus k where we have 1 then the value for dy dx will be negative 3 minus 4 bracket negative 3 equals to 0 so simplify the situation where we will have 3 minus 2k minus 3k plus 12 is equals to 0. So finally we will have negative 5k plus 15 is equals to 0. Rewrite the situation. 5k is equals to 15. So where the k is equals to 3. So given the situation B, y is equals to psi x over 1 plus cos x. So for number 1, find the dy dx and the second derivative in terms of x. Number 2, show that the situation is equals to 0. So now kindly focus on y and we are going to differentiate the situation with respect to x. So we are going to apply the quotient rule. So name it as u name it as v so we will have dy dx is equals to v where we will have 1 plus cos x multiply with the u prime where we will have differentiate the sine x and we will obtain cos x minus where we have u differentiate the v we will obtain negative sin x over 1 plus cos x square. Simplify the situation. dy dx is equals to cos x plus cos square x plus sin square x over 1 plus cos x square. Kindly refers to the basic identity and we notice that cos square x plus sine square x is equals to 1. So rewrite the situation and we will have dy dx is equals to 1 plus cos x over 1 plus cos x square. If we simplify the situation and we will obtain dy dx is equals to 1 over 1 plus cos x. Next, we are going to find the second derivative. So, rewrite the situation where we will have dy dx 
is equal to 1 plus cos x to the power of negative 1. Differentiate the situation for the second time. So we will obtain the second derivative is equal to negative 1 bracket 1 plus cos x to the power of negative 2. Differentiate the internal function and we will obtain negative sine x. So rewrite the situation for the second derivative where we will have sin x over 1 plus cos x bracket square. So that will be the situation for the first part. Kylie refers to the part 2. Show that the situation is equal to 0. So now Kylie focus on the second derivative. So where we have the second derivative is equal to sine x over 1 plus cos x multiply with another 1 plus cos x. So Kylie refers to the situation. As we all know, sine x over 1 plus cos x is equal to y. So in here, we notice we have the situation. Where we have the second derivative is equal to sine x over 1 plus cos x multiply with 1 over 1 plus cos x. And kindly substitute the situation where the second derivative is equals to y multiply with 1 over 1 plus cos x actually is the first derivative. So where we can write the situation dy dx. So now we are going to differentiate the situation. So differentiate the second derivative and we will obtain the third derivative. Next, on the right hand side, we are going to apply the product rule where we have dy dx. Differentiate the y and we will obtain another dy dx plus y. Differentiate the dy dx and we will have the second derivative. Rewrite the situation. So where we will have the third derivative. Next, focus on this part. So we will have negative y multiply with the second derivative. Next, focus on this part. And we will have the first derivative square. So rewrite the situation and we will have negative bracket dy dx square where we have equals to 0 on the right hand side. So kindly refers to the question and we notice that we already show the situation. So here we are and thanks for watching.